Hello everyone, so today I will be sharing with you guys my morning skincare routine. My morning skincare routine is mostly hydration based, glowing and healthy skincare is kind of like a goal for me right now. So I will be sharing with you guys all the products that I have been using and loving currently. So first starting off I do want to say that I have a bump on my forehead. I just yesterday you know got hurt in my kitchen cabinet so just excuse me for that and this is how my skin looks like currently as you can see i do have tiny bit of spots so first off i am going to put on a headband just to get all my hair out of the way obviously after that i am using this dermaco 2% sika glow daily face wash this contains 2% sika in here tranexamic acid licorice extract I have been using this lately first of all i do want to say normally i don't use a cleanser in the morning but these days i really have been using this cleanser it's very gentle on the skin very mild and gives me very nice hydrating feeling as well i really have been loving this as for someone who has dry skin i like to opt for cleansers that have gel consistency to it and this one has been really good so after using the cleanser, I'm just drying my face right now. After a cleanser, I normally go in with a toner. Right now, I'm rotating between the Plum Niacinamide Toner and the One Thing Propolis Plus Honey Extract. Today, I will be using the Propolis Plus Honey Extract. It is my first step to glowing skincare. I am loving this product so much. It is hydrating, nourishing. At the same time, it gives me such a beautiful glow from within. I absolutely love it. If there is one thing that you know you need to have in your collection, in your skincare collection, is a very nice, good toner. I have noticed that after using good and you know toners i really have seen a very huge difference at how my skin looks like and this one has been helping me with the glow and the healthy feeling that i love after patting the toner into my skin i leave my skin a little bit tacky because i will be using a hyaluronic acid yes this minimalist hyaluronic acid is literally amazing like this is one of the best hyaluronic acid i have used and as i have said my whole goal with morning skincare is to hydrate as much as i can so i'm using two to two to three drops of the hyaluronic acid and this is how my skin looks like after using the hyaluronic acid after using a hyaluronic acid the next thing i go in is with a alpha arbutin serum and a vitamin c normally i either use a alpha arbutin serum or just a vitamin c but today since i'm doing an elaborate skincare i'll be using both so first i'm going in with the alpha arbutin from minimalist these two are amazing ingredients to you know just fade your dark spots these are the two ingredients that have helped me tremendously when it comes to fading away my dark spots and pigmentation. Uh, as you guys know, I did have quite a bit of dark spots, but I have been using vitamin C and alpha arbutin continuously in my skincare routine. And this is how my skin looks like currently. I, a lot of the times a vitamin C can irritate people who have sensitive skin so I would say alpha arbutin is your is going to be your favorite ingredient if you want to fade away dark spots and pigmentation so after using the alpha arbutin serum I'm going to go in with this pulp vitamin C serum this vitamin C serum is honestly one of the most effective vitamin C serum that I have used now this vitamin C serum not only contains 20% vitamin C it also contains ferulic acid this is a packed with antioxidants I really do think that this is super super powerful in reducing your dark spots and pigmentation but if you have sensitive skin please patch test because I feel like it might be a little bit irritating since it does contain a high amount of vitamin C in it which is 20% but for me this has really been very very effective and I absolutely love how you know this has been working so the next product i'm going to use is the snail mucin now this snail mucin is going to be the it product for you if you want that glowing and hydrating skin now a lot of you guys ask me what is the one product you know i would recommend for just one product for a glowing and hydrating skin the snail mucin is what i will recommend i have gone through bottles and bottles of the snail mucin and i absolutely love it i I will choose this over any of my other serums, any active ingredients all the time because 
I have seen a tremendous change at how my skin has changed, how my skin looks, how my skin feels after using this and it is definitely 100% worth your money. It also lasts you for a really long time and as you can see, I am showing you guys that this is not sticky at all. I know that I look like a glowing disco ball but it's not sticky. So after my snail mucin, I go in with the moisturizer. I normally use the formula RX moisturizer which has ceramides in it or I use the plum one. Today I will be using the plum one. As you can see, I just use a very tiny bit of moisturizer. To be honest, I use so many hydrating serums that I don't need to you know, go ahead and over moisturize my face because I already feel very very hydrated. So I'm just layering a little bit of moisturizer uh, on my skin and after using a moisturizer I will be actually using a sunscreen now I'm just showing you guys the bump actually looks super super bad so this is how my skin looks like I'm really sorry if you if you can see a lot of light um, the Sun was actually shining a lot now I'll be going in with the doctor shade ceramide this is the vitamin C sunscreen this sunscreen is super good if you have dry skin this contains ceramide in here vitamin C hyaluronic acid so it contains all these amazing hydrating ingredients and as you can see me blend this one out it just melts into the skin it is unlike any sunscreen that I have ever used I I love a lot of my sunscreen you know but this one also has been one of my top three favorites easily and as you can see this is how my skin looks like you can honestly skip your moisturizer if you're using this sunscreen because look at that glow my skin feels so hydrated and it's not tacky and not sticky at all i don't feel heavy and obviously if you have oily skin you can skip few of the serums or moisturizers but for my dry skin this layering technique has been quite helpful now after that i am using this lip balm from plum this is a tinted lip balm just gives you a little bit of a tint and a very good amount of hydration I like to use this lip balm in my morning time skincare routine and in my nighttime skincare routine and throughout the day as well. And yeah, it's just a you know just a regular lip balm. I don't know what to, else to say about it. After that, I am actually taking my hairband off and showing you guys how my skin looks up close after using uh, the you know all the products. And this is how it looks like. After that, I'm taking this hair growth serum by Minimalist. I like to use this as a as a hair serum in my morning time skincare routine and in my nighttime skincare routine. I don't really skip this. Now, if you ask me if this is effective or not, I do feel like it has been helping me, you know, have a very nice healthy hair and has been helping with my hair growth as well. I just like to take few drops of it and just apply it all over my hair. It's not sticky or heavy or oily. It just like a normal regular face serum that is to be used for your hair so yeah I just like to use it in my morning time skincare routine after using the hair serum I actually just uh, you know like to go in with this is the Carmacy deodorant roll on and this is just what I like to apply after using all my serums and skincare and this is how my skin looks like after doing my full-on morning skincare routine and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.